Hi everybody, this is Guru Francis Serrano from Filipino Martial Arts School and today's another episode of Bayani Talk. FMAschool.com Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis Serrano from Filipino Martial Arts School, and today's another episode of Bayani Talk, and you know, we're, it's like, weird world right now because of the COVID-19, I pray everybody's staying safe, uh, please, 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 stay home, practice social distancing, self-quarantine, because this is the only way we're going to be able to beat this is if we work together and, and stop spreading the virus, um, and I hope that you guys find an online community so that you can at least still uh, stay co in contact with pe with the outside world. I know that's what I'm trying to do uh, by doing these vlogs. So, you know, if you guys need somebody to interact with, comment down below. I'll interact with you. No worries. Um, so, the, today's topic is can you outrun your past? Um, we all have baggages. Nobody can come to any, in any relationship, whether it's, uh, martial arts related or, or, or romantic relationship or platonic relationship we all have a, some baggage that we bring in and the problem is is that some of us including myself at many points in my life I try to outrun my past and it's just and you know the more I try to 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 outrun it meaning in a sense where I'm trying to not think about it just kind of leave it in the past it always finds a way to you know um um, it, it ingratiate itself to it, and especially in the most, uh, in the not the most uh, uh, convenient time. Um, and when those things happen, it's kind of like, what do you do? You know, um, do you continue running? Do you cut off the relationship just because, or with anybody, just because you don't want them to know about your past? You try to shield them from it. Um, it you know, it can become a very lonely endeavor. Um, I have always, like I said, I myself have tried to run away from my past, um, and and I'll share with you one of them. Um, I didn't graduate from high school on time. Um, I, not that this is an excuse. I take full responsibility. Um, my father, I lost my father while I was in high school. And, and right at that moment in my life, um, education was not the forefront of my, uh, well, in my mind and in my heart. I was too busy um, trying to kind of find some sort of logic and some sort of peace with losing my father. Uh, anyway, so as 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 a result, I didn't graduate from high school on time. I kept because I kept ditching. Uh, if there was 180 school days in a year, I, I think I ditched about 160 uh, of those days. That's how bad it was. Uh, there was times where I would actually go on campus to pick up my girlfriend so we can go out to lunch and then bring her back on campus. And now you you would think I would stay for the rest of the day. No, I would still leave and and and, and not go back to class. Uh, again, this is by no means. An endorsement of that. I this is if there's anything, this is the reason why not to do that. Um, as a result, my life have kind of spiraled um, to a different trajectory. Um, of course, just like every typical family, Filipino family, excuse me, you know, education is is paramount. And you know, as soon as you get out of high school, you go to college, and as soon as you get out of college, you get a good job, and so forth and so forth. Um, but for me, I didn't do that. I. Um, I did not grad like I said I didn't graduate from college on uh, high school on time so as a result I was not um, was not uh, able to go to the university that I wanted to go to and pursue the, the, the career that I wanted to do at that time um, and then now I tried to kind of put it past behind me I, I tried to not think about it but then um, you know when I when it came time to me doing what I really want to do as a vocation in my life, which was to become a minister, it caught up to me. It absolutely caught up to me, and I couldn't I couldn't be I couldn't go to the schools I wanted to go to. In fact, what's one of the reasons was I moved to the Philippines was because it was easier for me to go to get my undergrad. Um, I eventually did graduate from high school, but I never I, I you know I I. I never got my bachelor's degree when, um, I, until I was 30 years old. So, um, uh, so when I decided to go to school, 
it, that's when it finally caught up to me. That's when, you know, the me not graduating from high school on time really started catching up to me because at that point, I still had to get my bachelor's and then have to get my master's degree um, to be able to become a pastor. So it sucked. It absolutely sucked. And so from then on, I, 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 I realized that I can't really outrun my past because my past will always catch up to me. Um, if there's anything, I like in um, trying to outrun your past is like trying to outrun your shadow. Um, I had my one of my nephews. Uh, I love him dearly, and he's he's a grown man now, and he's got two beautiful beautiful children. But when he was a little boy, he saw his shadow, and he goes, "Mumu, mumu, mumu," and "mumu" in Tagalog means ghost, right? So he kept running and running and running, and you know we're just laughing because it's hilarious. Um, he he keeps running, but of course you can't outrun your shadow. Um, the only way to get rid of your shadow is to shine a light on it. So in this particular case, this is why I'm using trying to outrun your, your past is like trying to outrun your shadow. The only way for you to, to get rid of it is to shine some light into it. Accept what it is. Take the, take the hit and um, push forward and, um, um, and, and learn from it. You know, take, take something from a negative and turn it into a positive. So, yeah, can you outrun your past? Well, let me just say, can you outrun your shadow? And the only way for you to get rid of your shadow is to shine some light on it. I don't know. That's just my quick thought. Um, do you guys agree? Uh, please comment down below. And if you're looking for a Filipino martial arts school and you're in the Riverside, Orange County, uh, San Diego, maybe even San Diego? No, I don't know. Uh, Riverside County uh, area, please visit us at the web at www.fmaschool.com. We are offering online courses. And, um, and it's two, two different versions. If you are um, in the area and you want to take online courses, then eventually go into the in-person courses we have a, a a module for that and if you are not from the area and you just want to take online courses we have a pricing and module for that so again go to our website at www.fmaschool.com for more information and just reach out until then my name is guru francis Ron from filipino martial arts school peace out god bless and keep swinging the sticks and stay away from everybody bye